I am so pumped. Let's see what we got. All right, so yes, as you see, we got some X screened. My lawn needs some fertilizer. It's been about 10 weeks, I think, since I threw any furt down. It's been so long since I dumped any furt. Had to grow this furt stash. Oh yeah, it's a thing, we're doing it. And it just kind of looks extra crispy, the bad kind, not the Brandon Davis kind. Whenever you walk on this, it just does not feel right, and so, we need to put some fertilizer down and this came at the perfect time. So this video here is not going to be an all about this X screen product. I'm not gonna go into a ton of details of what it's made of and all that. If you do wanna know that, I suggest you go to Matt Martin's YouTube channel, The Grass Factor, because he is the one who made the product. Who better to go watch and ask questions than him, the guy who made the product. What I am gonna go into in this video is what the product looks like the application of it, and I'm gonna do a little test in the backyard between this fertilizer and another fertilizer. Yep. That's what happens whenever you find it for five bucks a bag. All right, so I just stacked all that up. It took me like 15 minutes for nothing because I found two bags in my garage for my last application. I'm gonna waste no more time because I got a fur. Spilled the furt, spilled the furt, oh no, no. All right, so if you have not heard of this, this is called X Green, and this is the newest product from Carbon Earth Company. They are the same company that make Carbon X. This is their new uh, slow release fertilizer. It is an 818, so what that means is 8% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, 8% potassium. So this is not gonna give a flush of top growth like a synthetic fertilizer would, but this is going to be a really good fertilizer to use during the hot months of summer as well as coming off of summer and uh, dealing with stress because that 8% potassium is really gonna help with stress. That's heat stress, drought stress, all kinds of stress. I'm not really gonna talk about what all's in here. I know it's a carbon-based product made from biochar. I think it's got chicken litter in it as well as it has 4% iron, which is gonna help us get a pop of green, which is awesome. So what we're gonna do today is I'm going to be applying this at the bag rate, which is six pounds per thousand, which is gonna give us a half a pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. I'm going to apply that on my front and on my side yard and on the back lawn, which is 2,500 square feet. I've got a thousand square feet marked off on the left side, a thousand square feet marked off on the right side, and I've got 500 square feet in the middle. And so we are gonna do one section, Carbon X, and we are going to leave the middle uh, with nothing on it. And on the other side, we are going to use a very popular fertilizer to compare. While we're here comparing these, I've heard a lot of people say that this is, uh, X Green is an exact replacement for Melorganite. In my opinion, uh, that's not the case, um, just because of the analysis. X Green 818, Melorganite is a 640, so it really just depends on what you need at the time. Both of them are going to be slow release. Both of them have iron, which is going to help you get a dark green color. And so in my opinion, both are going to be really good fertilizers. It just depends on what you need at the time. So on the label they give you descriptions for spreader settings and so for the scots they say to use a four 
and for the Earthway, they say to use a 12. And so we're gonna test both those out. For my main section, 2,000 square feet, we're gonna use the Earthway on a 12 setting, and we're gonna see how it does. And then on my side yard, which is uh, about 1,500 uh, square feet, we're gonna use the spore setting on the Scots. So let's do it. Real quick, just so you guys can see the difference. Here's Melorganite, here's X-Green. Melorganite's got these granules. Um, they all look pretty consistent in size. Um, and here's the X-Green. And these are, I mean, it's all consistent in size throughout, but it, it's more like sand almost. Um, it's like black sand. Um, so we'll see how it spreads. I'm very interested to see the difference in the uh, spreadability. We'll say the four on the Scots, perfect. I uh, had the exact amount, covered the exact area that I needed to with the four setting. So good job whoever came up with those settings. Top secret what we're doing back here, we can't let anybody see through our fence. All right, so with the Melorganite, we want 15 pounds per thousand. That's the bag rate, so that's what we're going with. All right, so quick smell test. The uh, X screen kind of smells like sunflower seeds. It's pretty good. Nothing spilled. All right, so since the four setting on the Scots worked out like they said it would, I'm gonna go with this for the backyard. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna do 1,000 square feet of each of these products with 500 square feet in between so we can uh, get an overhead view uh, maybe in a week and see how they're doing uh, color comparison. So just like I did the Hydrotain video, if I follow this line right in here uh, that's a thousand square feet and then on the other side um, straight up next to the playset and over that way is a thousand square feet with 500 in between so i'm going to do melorganite on this side i'm going to do carbon x on that side and let's do it Now for the Carbon X section. I uh, need my bucket. Oh, shoot. All right, so we're done with that. The only thing left is to water it in. And I know, I think both of these fertilizers do not have to be watered in. They're not gonna burn your lawn. Um, but I always feel better watering my fur in after anyway. We'll check in in probably five to seven days and see if we have a color response. So, see you then. So I think I just realized I kept saying Carbon X when I really meant X Green. Idiot. <laughs> All right, so quick update. It's been six days since we put the X Green down and I wanna give you an update before we mow and then after we mow.
So thanks for watching. Um, I highly recommend giving the X-Green a try. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, just something uh, new fertilizer. I think it's pretty cool. Um, always fun to try new things. So with that, I will see you guys in the next one.